live from downtown St. Joseph, you're watching News Press Now. Good evening and thank you for watching News Press Now. I'm Kirsten Stokes. Well, some board members of the St. Joseph Board of Education say a new policy risk infringing their rights. News Press Now's own Marcus Klim explains. This new policy is centered around the idea that the collective good outweighs individual interests, but Kenneth Reeder has no time for it. They're trying to tell us how to talk. They're trying to tell us how to perform. Just because I'm on the school board, I do not lose my First Amendment right to speak. That's what I was elected for. The board adopted the policy by a vote of four to three, despite these concerns over freedom of expression. Board President Latonya Williams, who voted in favor, says she was surprised by the level of pushback. If they're open to talking about those concerns as a group and as a whole, I mean, if there are concerns, I'd love to hear about the concerns. I just didn't hear any. In an interview on Tuesday, Reader acknowledged that he did not attend the policy committee meeting where this idea was first considered. However, the underlying issue, he says, remains. The Missouri School Boards Association crafts the policy and recommends it for approval. Board members can feel pressured to vote for it on the fear that if they do not, they will be in non-compliance with state standards. Yeah, we don't have to take an outside source. We do not have to conduct ourselves, go along to get along. Marcus Clem. News Press Now.